Hi guys, it's David James from Business Growth Digital Marketing and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Haro to get links to your website. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to helperreporter.com and select that you are a source. I want you to register and once you've registered and verified all of your details, you're going to get taken to a page where you can fill out the rest of your details. But what's going to be most important is the queries that you're going to receive. So I want you to go down to where it says Haro Preferences and I want you to select the type of queries that you want to receive based on the industry that you're in or the ones that you are interested in. Now in my case, I'm interested in business and finance and I'm going to request that I get queries from journalists so I can help them out with any queries that they're looking for answers for. Now I'm going to take you to my email and in the email you'll see that I typically get about two or three queries per day. Now, when you get the queries, I'm going to show you an example of one. And once you open it, you'll be presented with a list of uh, queries that are available. Now, I've already gone through this one, and I'm going to show you this one based on number 11, which is Best Tips for Working with a Marketing Agency in 2016 by SEO Plus. Now, usually you can just click on on the link and it will take you uh, to the section but because I'm operating in Outlook it's not going to allow me to do that if you're working with a web-based email provider like Gmail it will automatically take you down so I'm just going to scroll down to uh, query number 11 and we're going to go through it together so you can see that the topic is about best tips for working with a marketing agency in 2016 the name of the person who's submitted the query is Brock Murray who is from SEO Plus, Categories in Business and Finance, and this is the email that you can reach him on as long as you submit the query to helperreporter.net. Now, the media outlet that is supposed to be published on is SEO Plus. Now, the next bit is the deadline. Now, this one's really important because the email, act, uh, the email address actually expires once the deadline has been uh, hit or missed. So make sure that before you submit your query, that the deadline hasn't passed. Now, these reporters or the journalists, they will tell you exactly what it is they're looking for. So in this case, he's looking to write an article to include the best tips. The tip must be no longer than 200 words for a response, and he's asked to include a link to the headshot uh, of the person who's uh, submitting the answer for the query. So it's pretty straightforward. They tell you exactly what it is you need to do. Now I'm going to show you an example of one that I've done in the past and that was successful. So in this case, the subject was getting the word out about your business on social media. Now this was the email address for the query at the time. And as you can see, I addressed it to the author whose name was Lee introduced myself as the founder of Business Growth Digital Marketing. I provided him with a few tips in response to his query. And I just I said, look, I hope this helps, you know, trying to build a relationship with him. Now, a few weeks later, he actually responded. And the response that he gave me was, I thank you for your horror response. And he's actually summarized my answer. And he's provided a link to my site. So to see the actual finished product, we're going to jump to the site and the article that he actually published. So this is the actual article. It's on the Alvaro Trust File site. And within the content, he's actually cited my answer. And here is the link that goes directly to my homepage. So like, that's all it is. You know, jump onto Haro, sign up, make sure you select the queries that are most relevant for your business or for the type of uh, content that you want to contribute to with helping out these reporters. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope this has helped. And if you liked it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.